What is this? Can That's you believe it? Toy Jeep. It's a gladiator. How cool is that? That is a gladiator. With the doors off. How cool is that? So I didn't know that was a thing. That's totally so a thing now. A duck. Duck duck or Jeep Jeep. Well, there's different levels. Okay. So there's getting ducked and then there's cool. your Jeep is so awesome I'm giving you a matchbox. Wow, I love it. Well whoever did it, thank you so much. That's awesome. That's our first. Yay. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, it's going on the dash. Awesome. It has a place. And if I do this, I go faster. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm good. Okay, well, yeah, that's how you stop it. Okay, I'm gonna pass out. This is actually a first. Yeah. Have you ever seen a hole like that before? No. Never. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, oh so there's no attachment? You just. Oh. This is like a well. Oh, that's stinky. It's the first. So we wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. There is a lot going on with Season 7's East Coast Jeeping. And yes. that's the theme of Season 7. Yes. Because we bought the Jeep. We're modifying the Jeep. We're embracing the Jeep. We're enjoying the Jeep <laughs> culture as Jeep newbies. Yes. Right? And we wanted to experience that. Hence, that's why we did the Jeep Beach series and uh -huh. a lot of different interviews and modifications. And I know you guys are like, what are they doing? Yes. We bought a Jeep. Now uh, we got to figure it all out. Exactly. And, and the Jeep Peaches is uh, on our in our life. And we just want to yeah. share everything about our life with you guys. So. Yep. You know, even if you might not have a Jeep, maybe it's interesting to see what we do with ours. Oh my God! Oh my God! This is some shaky camera. No, 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 no. What are they gonna do now? Exactly. And that's what we wanna do. And we also had some hiccups in our timeline. Yeah. You see, uh, right now, our episodes are still back in February, yeah. early March, uh -huh. and that's because of my deployment. Yeah. So I was gone overseas for over two months supporting our troops, as you guys know, and it really put ourselves back a little bit. And yeah. we're like, that's not fair to you guys, because here we're in August right now. Yeah. And you're like, why are you still posting in, you know, the yeah. you know, And we've always been a little winter. bit behind, but, you know, it's a little bit more now because of that. Yeah, so we're going to try to catch up. Right now, um, in this episode, we're still at the resort at Canopy Oaks. Oh, what an amazing place. Yeah, I tell you what, yeah. we've been trying to go to that resort uh, for a couple of years, um, right when it first opened. Mm -hmm. um, I read about it online. Um, it was just never really near our route because it is a little bit out there. It's, it's central it's, Florida. Yeah, it's near Lake Wales. Yep. So, um, you know, everything is about an hour and a half to two hours away, like Orlando and Tampa mm -hmm. and all those places. But I tell you what, the resort itself, the grounds are beautiful. It's amazing. It, it is so big. 
I do I do wish we had a golf cart especially in a place yes. like that we need a golf cart but I will do with a bicycle that's okay too but the grounds are beautiful they had a lot of activities um, they had a pool playground general uh, store yeah. restaurants and you know the best part no sounds at night yeah. you did not hear any traffic or emergency nothing it was quiet you heard some crickets yeah that was fantastic and they also have a sister resort in Ocala yes which we also in upcoming videos you'll yeah. be able to see yeah we went to the Ocala which is champions run yes and it they're almost identical exactly it's fantastic it's just a little bit smaller and closer to the roads but absolutely mm. beautiful beautiful facilities and you know what we've never been to Ocala before and we absolutely love it mm -hmm. you're gonna see it in upcoming videos amazing and you know what speaking of golf carts yes which we absolutely need we just got to figure out how well, yes. we'll figure out that out later speaking of golf carts uh -huh. parades oh yeah RV resorts RV campgrounds RV parks every now and then the golf carts get together and they celebrate via a yes. parade yes well you happen to be at one yes. and I was working at the time exactly. but you happen to be one for st. Patrick's Day exactly so take a look we are at a resort at Canopy Oaks and uh, it's uh, St. Patrick's Day so they're going to have a uh, parade with golf carts, a golf cart parade today. So we're going to go check it out and uh, we'll share it with you. What do you think, Sophia? Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All the people have decorated their golf carts and it's going to be fun? Yes. I can't wait to see what everybody did to their golf carts. I mean, I'm kind of envious as you know we don't have one and we probably won't get one anytime soon, you know, with the setup that we have, but it's always fun to see what other people do with them. Yay! Well, that was fun. The girls got some uh, beads uh, and uh, we got some popsicles and some gold coins and everybody did a great job. So uh, we really enjoyed ourselves. That was so much fun. We're right. so envious. I mean, I tell you what, if we get a golf cart, we're totally going to celebrate everything. We're going to dig it out. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to decorate it. We're going to put lights all over it. Oh, yes. We're For every occasion. We're dreaming right it's now. It's Monday. We we're don't have a golf cart. Taco Tuesday, we'll turn it into a taco. We're going to pass out tacos. <laughs> you know, this is what golf cart... You owners know, should do. Owners yeah. should do. <laughs> golf cart Tuesday taco runs. Yes, I love it. So one of the big things that we noticed at the Resort at Canopy Oaks is the amenities that they have are just amazing. And yeah. I know that a lot of you guys have already stayed there and it's on your route. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're first timers exactly. going there. The Tiki Bar is yes. amazing. Yes. The, the and they have food trucks there all the time. Food trucks, yeah. general stores, restaurants, yeah. they have oh, yeah. it all. So they have this little sandwich and pizza shop right yeah. on the property. With ice cream. And with ice cream and uh, the girls loved oh. it. And uh, right. yeah, they have really great sandwiches. Playgrounds. Yeah. They've got it all. Yeah. And the one thing that we noticed that is above all is the goats. Oh gosh. That was so much fun. Feeding the goats. When we drove in, we're like, are those goats right there? That's yeah. the first thing that the yes. girls saw when we drove in. We yes. got we, we got our uh, uh, talk to the office. We got our map. They said, okay, this is your spot. We're saying, okay, the moment we pulled forward. Yeah off to the right are the baby goats yes and the girls are just like what yeah that was super come fun. to find out 
you can feed them. Yes, so we got little baby carrots. So every day there is a gathering, yes. paying attention, loving, doting on the baby goats. So yes. guys, job well done because it's definitely a memorable experience. And yes. the entire time we were there, all of the girls were like, let's go and feed the goats. I know. So we needed it's a so golf fun. cart. It's, yes. it's a pretty big facility. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Take a look. One of our favorite things at Resort at Canopy Oaks are the goats. I mean, how awesome is that? You can go feed goats and they're so lovable. They'll let you scratch them behind the ears and everything. So that's what uh, we're doing with Emily right now. Let's do it. Here, cut him up. I see a food truck in our future. Uh -huh. Coffee, frappe, latte, fruit smoothie, and there's a deli right here, so we're heading that way. Yep. What are you girls getting? Uh, Probably a smoothie. Yeah, and I'm yes. gonna get a turkey sandwich. A turkey sandwich? Turkey sandwich? I don't know about you, but I see a country store right over there. We're Let's heading that way. <laughs> How amazing are goats? I know, right? Right. Guys, y'all did a fantastic job. We love goats. I think we went through plenty of carrots and cucumbers and everything else. Oh, yes. It was fantastic. It was so much fun. I mean, the only thing that was missing was a brush so you can brush the goats. <laughs> anyway, so on our timeline, we're actually headed south at this time. Yes. And we were going, our whole mindset was going down to the uh, the lower southeastern portion of Florida. Yeah. You know, from Fort Myers and keep going south all the way to Marco Island. Yes. And Marco Island was the goal. We're like, we're going to get down there. We're going to have so much yeah. fun. It was we're, close to the Everglades, so we thought, wow, Everglades, we've Key never West. Been there. Yeah. We'll take the ferry over. There's so much happening on our plan. Two things happened to, to basically deter that. Yeah. Number one, mosquitoes oh my gosh we were wholly yes. wholly inadequate we, in our mindset we were hiding about inside how of many the mosquitoes RV. yes it's like you you cannot go outside not in the morning guys not lunch not nighttime guys i'm, I'm just going to be honest yeah. with you i'm going to be honest with you there are certain times of the year yeah. that you go to southeast southwest florida yes not miami but in the everglades and, yeah. and surrounding yeah. there's certain times of the year that you go and there's certain times that you don't go i know and when we arrived down in that area we got out after we parked we got out and i looked at pam <laughs> and she looked at me and i looked at my beloved and she had five mosquitoes on, on her my face. face. She had 10 on each arm yeah. and at least 15 on each leg. And he didn't look better either. And I didn't know how to tell her that. I was in shock and she was looking at me and I had four on my face. I know. 10 on this arm. So oh we're God. looking at each other and we're like, yes. what? Yes. It that was, was definitely not expected, but you know what? You always learn from those kind of yeah. experience, you know? So if you ha if you live in that area and you have tips, put in the comments below. Yes. Let us know. Let the viewers know how do you guys deal with that? Because yes. the Everglades, they don't they don't take the trucks and spray for mosquitoes that often. Oh no. And Especially not in the state parks. Yeah. They don't do it at all. Yeah. So yeah. So, so we were definitely wholly inadequate in our understanding yes. of what yeah. we need. But anyway. All I can say is beekeepers suit. Yeah. <laughs> they make the net that goes over the yes, face and zips exactly. up. <laughs> yes, yes. The second thing is work. Mm -hmm. I've been traveling so much during this time from going back and forth up to Maryland, deployment, going overseas, supporting our troops. So much happened during this time mm -hmm. that it really just deterred 
what we wanted to do yeah. versus what we needed to do. And yeah. one of the things we did was we had other prior engagements. So we just kind of, instead of staying for about a month down there and doing all these different things, we were really only able to stay a couple of days. Yeah. And then, you know, turn around. So plans change. You got to be fluid, yes. you know, as RVers. We work from the road. We full-time uh, school from the road. Uh -huh. We full-time travel. Yeah. So there's so many things that just kind of throw wrenches in your plans. And especially you with, deal with work. It. You know, yeah. I mean, he can get a last-minute last call. He has to travel somewhere. Yeah. And then it just worked out that way. Good thing this is motorized. Yes. We just make a U-turn. Yes, exactly. So we want to give it tr a try again eventually. Mm -hmm just didn't work out this way. Yep, we're definitely coming back to the southeastern yes. part of Florida. Yes. There's so much to do. I was surprised at how expensive the ferry is to go to Key West. Yes, we, I mean, It's yes. so expensive that we might just have to drive yes. around, go Absolutely. to Miami. Well, and now then, that we have the Jeep and it's a small vehicle, we can do that. So if you guys have tips of going to Key West. Yes, yes, and, and what, what time of the year is the best time? Yes. What yes. was your best experience yeah. in Key West? Put it down. We yeah. have not been. We are newbies. I know. So we're going to take your comments and make our plan. So yes. one of the things, as we were going down that way, one of the things we found was the Ortona South Lock and Dam Campground. Oh, yes. Oh, it's, my goodness. It's an Army Corps of Engineering Park. It was amazing. We had never stayed in one before. It was so much fun. Yeah. It's actually right in between Lake Okeechobee and Fort Myers on the Caloosahatchee Canal. Yeah. And Army Corps of Engineers, we had no idea. It was actually our first one. Yeah. We went there and honestly, we both said to each other, yeah, this is better than a lot of RV resorts that we've ever been to. Oh, it was amazing. So you, the yachts that are coming through. Oh, it was just fun to watch. Oh and if we would have been able to, to book it ahead of time we would have definitely picked a water side because yeah. then you can just sit you know looking at the water the whole time just we were, watching the boats come through it was fun we were wondering why the whole canal side was booked out because yeah. we got the other side yeah well whatever was available i mean we weren't really that far away but you can still think, see it yeah I'll be, i think it would be fun to sit at your picnic table and watch all the boats come we're out. wise to you guys we know what you were doing yes exactly now, now we know it was fantastic, guys, yeah. so we can't say enough about it. Yeah. You know what, take a look. Wasn't it? Yeah. When do you see something like that? At you get to see a yacht park. go through a lock? <laughs> it's a dinner yacht. We saw um, inside of it, there's all these dinner tables. So we think it's a dinner yacht. Well, you know what? We should have dinner while going through a lock exactly. on a yacht. That would be amazing. I know, right? Put that on our bucket list. On it. Oh, and now it's closing again for the next Think couple of, of ships engineering about this how long it took to make this do you know why they're closing it so that no more water can come in nope so they can fill it up again oh. they have to raise this up so that the boats down here yeah. can come in and then it lowers so they can go out mm -hmm. yeah you guys yeah. want to cross over yeah how fun Definitely. is that let's do it <laughs> Morning. Are we gonna get on one? You sure are. So that was 
was fun. If you're afraid of heights, don't look down because you can see all the way down to the water. But yeah, so there is a sign. It says, uh, be aware of manatees. I wonder how that works. Do they get stuck in the lock and they have to wait 10, 20 minutes until they can leave? <laughs> Gates open and everything comes flooding yeah, in. Yeah, that's so crazy. Oh yeah, it's neat. It's really neat to see. And you know, funny part is I only booked this uh, campground because it was on the route. So it happened to be we're here for two days and it was on our, our route to uh, Naples area and uh, had no idea what, what it meant to be by a lock. And now we know. So cool. <laughs> Ortona South Campground uh -huh. is fantastic. It's actually almost better than a lot of the resorts we've been to. And it's uh, our first Army Corps of Engineering yeah. uh, park. And I didn't even know it was one until we got here. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what downsizing has done for us yes. is to be able to experience all these different things. And you guys can see the park right back here. Yep. It's right on the canal yeah. where you're seeing all the boats coming in and out How every fun. single day, all day long, catamarans, huge yachts. This is actually, it's a fun, yeah. you know, stopover. Experience. Well, you know what? And now I feel like going on a dinner cruise because that boat that came through yeah. here was actually a dinner cruise. It had tables all in it. Totally so do. And everybody's like, I want to get on a boat. So I would love to do that. You know what? We're going to go get on a boat. <laughs> Why don't we just call our friends? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Scott and Jeanette, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna dial you up. Everyone knows but you, <laughs> but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna call you in just a second. We're gonna say, hey, let's go to let's go to a fun place back on the St. Johns River. Yeah, you know what I mean. Try out something like Renegades or yeah. something. Let's make plans. That sounds good. We're doing it. <laughs> it's gonna be a boat day. Yes. Uh oh, what did they find? A U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. What is it? Charging station. It's a solar charging station. And there's a bit of bug. What? There is a bug. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. You can camp. Yeah. Or picnic and yeah. charge your phones. Exactly. It's like an airport. With a lock. Exactly. I mean, and you can just sit here and watch the boats come through. Oh, yeah, love it. Yeah, that's super fun. Yep, but we're off to our next adventure. We're surprising the girls. So we're going to surprise you too then. Right behind me is the train village and it looks epic so we're gonna go check it out she says that but I don't think we're gonna get the kids off the playground okay we're gonna go on a one mile little train ride right here what behind us. yes I thought we were getting wristbands for the jumpy castles. I know, but this is so much cooler. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Cha change your plans. Yeah. So train? Apparently so. Nice. We just have to go buy the tickets. So we can do the train and then we can go jump. Well, all right. Let's do it. <laughs> In the back. Come on up. Okay. Up here. That's fine. How 
fun is this? We just Express, bought yeah? the tickets and now we're on the ride. <laughs> having strawberry. So weird, huh? A four-year-old old likes the sour strawberry. <laughs> Is that good? So we're here at Lakes Park in Fort Myers, and this place is an epic find. Oh my gosh, I mean, not we did not expect any of this. No. We just Googled, you know, it's like, let's make this day about, you know, the kids and everything. Yep. So we just Googled a playground, and we found this, and there's just so much more to it. There is so much here from train rides to bouncy castles yep. to a huge playground. And huge, uh, like lots of trails for you yep. to walk. There's water. I mean, it's beautiful. You know what? We were definitely lucky to find it. It's yeah. a huge part of making the day epic. Yeah. So the kids are having fun. We're going to tire them out. And yep. we're, you know what? We're just going to see what this park has to offer. Look at you girls. Did y'all have fun? Yeah, that was fun. Outstanding. Nice. Well, not Emily's, but the one that she likes to use. <laughs> so, so when's the last time you were in a dump station line? First time ever. First time ever. But that teaches you don't check out at state parks on Sundays. At the checkout time? Yes, at the checkout time. Well, we're still a little early, but still. Yeah. Can you imagine what it's going to be like in 30 minutes? Yeah. When the I mean, checkout time hits? Everybody's eyeing us like, ooh, should we have gone a little earlier because we got to go to the dump station? <laughs> Yep, so we're about three behind and there's somebody behind us too. Yep. So we're, It's a beautiful day, so it doesn't matter. Yep, so where are we headed? We are headed um, to Collier Seminole State Park near Naples, Florida. So everybody's been warning us that it's really buggy out there. So, yeah. We might have to buy a beekeeper suit. I just forgot to tell you. I don't think she's kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is this right here is the face of I'm not kidding. Yeah, and I am the one that's like full on head net, oh, full body net. If you see Lee outside and he's dancing, really elaborately, that's yeah, that's some slapping bugs. They yes, and mosquitoes are in love with me. Yes, they they just block <laughs> and I look down and I'm maybe you know I'm putting the charcoal in the grill or something and I look down and I've got four of them net, you know, like right on the line and he on comes my arm. screaming slamming the door coming in the RV I'm, I'm done. not going out there so I have to do it and I'm out there I'm like there's nothing. I send her out there because yeah. she comes this she's like there's no mosquitoes out there yeah. and I'm like what, what? <laughs> yeah and I've, I've got blood stains all up and down my arm and I'm like I'm out I'm done <laughs> Florida, I love you, but no, no, I'm not doing that. Exactly. So we, we will now be planning our trip to the west. Yes. 
just because of these mosquitoes. Oh my gosh, you're hilarious. I tell you what, when you look at the line, when, when, when you're watching people, in our last episode, we were on the lake and we were having fun and we got to the boat launch. And the boat launch was fantastic. Now that's still number one. Anytime yes. you can go to a boat launch and watch boats, yeah. you know, coming in and out, it's fantastic. Yeah. Number two is the dump station. Yeah. Just to see how other people, see you have your way oh, of doing it. that's right. And you have like, you have to do it this way yes. or else you're just bothered. Exactly. And then you watch other people and you're like, what? That is funny. <laughs> it's just like, you know, watching people park their RVs. Yeah. Now, parking RVs is dumb. always fun. You yeah. know what I mean? A cup of coffee early in the morning. Look at that! Honk, honk. <laughs> Where did that big bus come from? <laughs> i tell you what, they're in a hurry. I guess they don't have to know. Uh, can't believe they squeezed by that. Anyway, so, yeah. Dump stations. Yes. Number two on the list. Mm -hmm. I, we have seen some things already that you're just like, wow, you yeah. live your best life. Oh, yeah. This is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so so y'all decided to join us up here? Yeah. Y'all want to see the show? Mm -hmm. Really? So far, we are three behind. So we're close, but not too close. I think Tidbit has found a duck. Tibbet, did you find a duck? Did you find a duck? I don't know, find a duck. Oh, he found a duck. He oh, found. God. Is he squeezing it? He, oh. he found the Jeep duck. He killed the Jeep duck? I mean, it's his now. Let me see it. It's slobbery. And oh, it's... that's slobbery. Oh, he found the Jeep no, duck. Oh, don't give it to him. Yikes. He'll just eat it. That's what he thinks about Jeep ducks. <laughs> I'll tell you what. They don't like them ducks. Yeah. 